Hey y'all, it's your girl Camille. We're cooking with Camille. Today we're going to do some um, quick and easy, as I always say. We're going to do some beer chicken, a whole chicken. And we're going to do some cheesy potatoes. And we're going to do some zucchini and squash and vegetables, some vegetables. And some cornbread. And some coleslaw. And if I think of something else, throw in, I will. You know how I am. Okay, and I got a... Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven potatoes. We're going to dice up and cut up an onion with it. We're going to make a cheese sauce. So you're going to need, I got some sharp cheddar cheese and that cheese that I cut up yesterday. I'm going to use up that. Um, had a chunk of everything. Well, it was uh, Kobe Jack and, uh, what did I have? Kobe Jack and... Kobe Jack and I had some uh, some other kind. I'm gonna get rid of that cheddar. So I'm just getting rid of everything I got. I'm gonna need some butter. I'm gonna need some sour cream. I'm gonna go get that out. Some milk. Uh, cream. I'm gonna use some carnation milk. I got some carnation milk on use up. Um, still gotta find that cheese. I don't know where it is. Where I'll find it. It's in here somewhere. I'll find it. And a uh, can of carnation milk. And we're going to make a cheese sauce to go with that. And so let's get started. I got the uh, chicken soaking in some beer right now. It's been soaking since this morning. Uh, so we're going to work on that. Okay. Okay, I'm going to use my new skillet. It's not new, but it's new to me because Victoria um, um, trying to think of her last name. Wait, but my mind done went blank. Victoria Young. I had to think of it. Oh, mine going blank. Okay. So, what we're going to do, look at this nice skillet. I cleaned it up real good and shined it. I'm going to put it in the oven. She said it needed to be um, uh, oil. So, I'm put some oil in it. To let it um, uh, I think it's been, uh, you know how you always have to shine. Uh, it's an old skillet. She probably already done done it. I'm going to put some oil in it and let it just uh, cook in there. Why I cut up with the um, sauteed the onions and cook the um, cut the potatoes. So we're gonna put this in the oven and let it get hot and let it just uh, marinate. Okay. Okay, y'all. First, I'm gonna I got this on. Take some of this out. I don't need all this oil to to stir uh, brown my onions. Just a little bit. I don't want it splashing. That's a little too much. That's enough. And uh, we're going to use two onions. I'm going to use one for the potatoes, and then we're going to need one for our vegetables. So we're going to brown these onions. This is for our potatoes. And while this is brown, I'm going to dice up the potatoes so we can get the potatoes started and then put the chicken on. Then I got a rotisserie stick. Then I just season my uh, chicken with whatever you want, whatever seasons you want, and then put some paprika on it. My husband put it on a stick for me. For some reason, y'all, I never liked filling a chicken. I never did. I can, I just don't like filling chicken. I don't, I don't like filling chicken. I don't know why. I have to use tongs. But he put it on the rod for me. So... Um, it's seasoned and everything. I use rubber gloves because I couldn't take it. I couldn't take it, y'all. It's like having surgery. I just don't like to fill it. I don't like to fill it. Then we're going to put it in a pan and, <laughs> and put some of um, the juice of the beer in it. It's been soaking in a beer for 12 hours. And now I'm going to take, take it and put it in a pan. And add the beer to the pan, and then we're going to base it. Like every 20 minutes, base it with the beer. Okay, I'm going to pour beer on top of it, too. I'm going to add this seasoning into the beer. Let me get some more. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on. Then we're just going to pour some of the beer at the bottom and add these seasonings. 
on there too with the beer with the seasonings well you can just base it maybe every 15 minutes every 20 minutes however long it's already been soaking in the beer so then i'm gonna throw some beer down the middle of it so it can go on the inside okay then we're ready to put it in the oven at 400 on uh four hour this is a pretty big one so we'll go an hour and hour and a half okay and then we'll put our potatoes in too so let's put the chicken in and we're going to put it in the oven on one side because our potatoes got to go on the other side and let that cook that's the best way and we're going to base it with that beer every 20 minutes okay now for our potatoes we're going to do it just like you do macaroni and cheese um i'm going to put our milk in there i'm gonna go have a carnation i'm gonna put what i got of the carnation and then half milk and cut up your cheese in there and then half milk check the date on this milk it's still good I'm gonna just use up all that milk because I just got a new one today so we'll use up all that so it won't go bad then we're just going to get our cheeses and cut up. I had cheeses left over for dinner yesterday to snack. So we're going to cut them up. We got a little bit of little cubes. We're going to put that in there. It's like uh, white cheddar and Kobe Jack. We're going to put that in there. I season uh, Victoria's pan. So we're ready to do that. I'm going to cut up this cheddar, cut up this cheddar and put it in there, and cut up this, these two we had left, make it real cheesy, okay? Okay. And we'll be back, make a cheese sauce, and keep stirring it. Cut up these cheeses. And this season that was on the chicken, put it in there too. Need that season on that, uh... On that uh, macaroni. Uh, what did I do? Oh, what do you have on? Cut up this cheddar one. Because I had that since uh, New Year's. I wanted, and I was going to do macaroni and cheese and I changed my mind. So I'm going to use up this cheese before it starts turning white on me. Use it all up. While this cheese is melting, then I'm going to get this kitchen cleaned up. We just get to that. And then we'll use the shredded cheese. Um, put a cup of shredded cheese in this too. Let's break it up in chunks. Because it's going to melt and you're just going to keep stirring it. Matter of fact, let's turn it on lower, on medium. Because we don't want it to stick. Okay? Okay, that should be uh, enough. We'll say that other, oh, I just, that other chunk for another day. As long as you're... Put it in a freezer bag, it'll be fine, okay? Okay, while we over here making a mess, let's add our, uh, got our potatoes cut up, and I washed them, and we're going to do, add our grilled onions to them, add that to it, Okay. We're going to mix that up and mix. Oh, excuse me. Spoon and mix it up. We're going to add salt and pepper to it. To your taste. And pepper. To your taste. And mix it together. Add a little bit of paprika to it. 
mix it again then we'll wait for the cheese sauce and add the cheese sauce to it and put it in the pan okay okay we're going to add i got some cheese here we're going to add some sprinkled cheese in there and i got some more what i do with the other one i'm gonna add the rest of this the rest of this cube cheese in there Add the rest of that in there. Make it really cheesy. Okay, I'm gonna just keep doing that till we get it all whipped up. Starting to melt really good. Then we're gonna add it to our potatoes. To the potatoes, I'm gonna add a tablespoon of um Sour cream. Y'all know I put sour cream in almost anything. Sour cream will make them softer. I'm going to add one tablespoon of that. And mix it up real good. Stir it up. Make sure it's mixed real well before we add our cheese sauce. Okay? See it's starting to thicken up. The cheese is almost melted, and we're going to pour it over the potatoes and mix it all together. Okay, don't y'all mind my kitchen. It's a mess. i got to clean it up as soon as I put this in. Okay, now what we're going to do, we're going to add our cheesy potatoes to the skillet. Like so. Once you get a layer... We're going to add some cheese to it, okay? Add some more cheese to it, like so. And finish it off. More cheesy potatoes. Just like macaroni and cheese, we'll be doing potatoes instead. And then we're going to pour the rest of it in there. Okay. Excuse me. Like so. Stir it around in there. And cheese. And we're going to just let it put some paprika on top of it. So we're brown. And where the paprika at? Paprika. And we're going to bake this for about an hour or two. Okay. Just like that. Now bake that. Okay. We're going to cook our vegetables as soon as the chicken get almost 30 minutes. Okay. We're going to make these little cornbread patties real quick. I got the cornmeal in here. Just mix it the way you're supposed to. Y'all see. Add a little milk. Got my egg in there. Whip it up. We're just going to do a little bit. And add a little more of this. And a little more of that. And just whip it. And we're going to add it in our little tray. You know the little trays that I do? Let me get the trays out so I can spray them. This is the tray I'm talking about, y'all. I got these from... um bought these and they make a little cornbread well you ain't got to make a big skillet and waste a lot of cornbread you just spray them and throw your cornbread in there and you know, I wouldn't believe it. I think I got them things for $1.29 there we go I made six one's a little short but that's okay ones I try not to make too many six is enough for us and we're gonna put these in the oven they're only gonna cook for about i watch watch about 15 minutes. Okay, now we're going to do our zucchini, our squash, the onion, some garlic, and the green pepper. We'll put it in a pan, and we're going to season it real good. And that's going to be our um, vegetable. 
So just cut your vegetables real good. I got the cornbread ready to go in the oven while we season this uh, vegetables real good. Okay. Uh oh, can't use that. Okay, once you get everything in your pan, season it what you want. Whatever seasoning you want. I'm going to use the same ones. A little gar uh, onion powder. Uh, onion powder. I'm going to use some Italian seasonings. Some garlic salt and some pepper. A little, and that's it. And we're just going to I got the um, olive oil heating up on the stove. A little pepper. Uh, olive oil heating up on the stove. We're just going to stir fry them really good. Okay? I think the olive oil is ready. We'll mix. Mix all this up with your seasonings in it and your bowl. Sure mixed real well so all the seasons will be together like so okay then add it to your skillet and just stir fry it okay until we get a nice final color I'm gonna add a little butter to mine uh -oh. Add that to it. I'm gonna add a little more uh, Italian seasoning to mine because you know I love Italian seasoning. Add that and some garlic powder. And just let it stir fry. You put a lid over it. Put a little more onion powder. And some garlic salt. Garlic salt. Garlic salt. Okay. And we're just gonna let it uh, simmer real good. And clean up everything while that's simmering. You can put a lid over it and let it cook. Okay. Got 22 minutes on everything else. Just gonna stir fry them. They're gonna be good and seasoned good. I'm just going to put them on low and on the center. On low. Okay. Let's check on our chicken. Look at our beer chicken, y'all. Don't it look good? Let me base it. Again, I base it. Like every 15 minutes. With the beer. And that's the juices added to the chicken broth. The chicken broth and the beer. Okay. We're just waiting on the cornbread and we're going to cut this bad boy up. Look at that. Okay. I do want to say in future um, times, don't never buy cheese, cheap cheese. Always go buy the good cheese because I used the cheaper cheese because it was on sale. I, never again because cheese don't melt that good. So always buy good cheese. Even if you have to pay a little more money for it. That's what I usually do with my macaroni. I just bought it because it was $3.99, but it don't melt too good. It wasn't a, it was from a, not Acme. It was from a, where did I get it from? Oh. Dave's. I don't like it. You know, I just have to tell you, I'm tasting it. It is so juicy. Oh my goodness. It is so juicy. I just had to let y'all know this. It just, oh my God. And the breading. I mean, you could, I can't taste the beer in it, but it's got good taste to it. I just want y'all to know. Look how juicy that is. And I cooked it for an hour and a half. Because I want to make sure it was done. 
Okay, here we go. It's not much. I got some coleslaw, zucchini, squash, green peppers, onions, some um, cheesy potatoes, some um, beer chicken, and cornbread. That's dinner today. All right. Y'all, y'all have a blessed day. Please like and share. Comment. Comment, subscribe on YouTube. And uh, come to my Facebook page and post your food too. Show them what you're working with. Okay? Please subscribe. Hit the bell when you know what I'm on all the time. The bell will let you know I'm on. And uh, subscribe, share, like. Y'all, I'm trying to get 10,000 people. 10,000, y'all. Can I get 10,000? And please subscribe. When you subscribe, I only got 400 within a year. It, uh, two years. It'd be two years in February, and I only got 405 people. Come on, help a sister out, y'all. Again, cheesy potatoes, cornbread, beer chicken, coleslaw, zucchini, squash, and onions. Perfect meal. Healthy meal. Goodbye, y'all. See you later.